morning. Today I am back with new concept. Insects and birds. Insects and birds. What are insects? Insects are small creature with six legs. Insects are small creature with how many legs? Six legs. Example, honeybee, housefly, wasp and beetle. Honeybee, housefly, wasp and beetle. Now let us learn the parts of the insect. The body of an insect is divided into three parts. The body of an insect is divided into three parts. Head, thorax and abdomen. Head, thorax and abdomen. Now to learn more about insects and birds, we shall go through next term book 3, term 3 book A. Insects around us. Insects around us. Insects are small creature with six legs. Found everywhere on the earth. Insects are small creatures with how many legs? Six legs. Found everywhere on the earth. Most insects live on land. But some lives on water. Some commonly found insects are honeybee, Ladybird, butterfly, mosquito, housefly, cockroach, beetle, dragonfly, wasp, grasshopper. Let us learn about some common characteristics of insects. The body of an insect has a tiny hole. It helps it to breathe. The body of an insect has tiny hole that helps it to breathe. The insect's body is divided into three parts. Head, thorax, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen. The head has a pair of compound eye, a mouth and feelers. The feelers called antenna. It helps to smell, feel the things and find the food. The legs and wings are attached to the thorax. The legs and the wings are attached to the thorax. Butterfly and honeybee have two pairs of wings. Some insect like lice and silverfish do not have wings. Lice and silverfish do not have wings. Below the thorax lies abdomen. It contains the internal organ and it is usually largest part of the body. Abdomen is the largest part of the body. Some insect like cockroaches and ladybird have hard outer covering that protect their soft body. Cockroach and ladybird have hard covering. It will protect their soft body. To learn more about insects, we shall go through the video. Hello, insects that we see around us, can you name? Hello children, today we are going to learn about insects. Hey, do you know that insects are small animals that are found everywhere on earth? Can you name a few insects? The butterflies, ants and bees that you see around you are insects. Do you know where insects live? Most insects live on the land. If you look closely, you will see them crawling around near your feet. Some insects live in water. If you look into a pond or a fountain, you will see insects skipping on the water. Many insects live on plants. If you look at the plants in a garden, you will see insects flying or jumping around near flowers and trees. Some insects live in the soil. They dig into the soil and make their homes under the ground. Insects can live in very hot places like deserts and cold places like mountains. Let's look at some common insects that we see around us. Can you name a few of them? Ants are one such common insect. Then, there are bees that buzz around. And beautiful butterflies 
and fly around. This is a common house fly. You will mostly see it trying to sit on your snacks or food when you're trying to eat. The grasshopper can mostly be seen jumping around grassy places. There are many other insects that you will see if you look around your home and garden. So, be sure to stay alert and try to spot insects that live around you. It's very easy to spot insects. Do you know why? It's because insects are the largest group of animals living on Earth. Insects lived on Earth even before the dinosaurs did. Hello children. Today we are going to learn about birds. Let's take a tour of a bird sanctuary and take a look at the different types of birds that are there in it. Can you name some of the birds that you see here? Well, here we see a parrot, a peacock, a pigeon, an owl, a crow, and a duck. Do you know what these birds have in common? Let's find out. All birds have two eyes with which they can see the world around. All birds have one beak with which they eat their food. Have you seen the feet of birds? Birds have two tiny feet for standing and walking. Birds have two wings with which they can fly. Birds also have a short tail. And the body of all birds is covered with feathers. Did you know that birds do not have external ears? They have two tiny spots covered with thin skin which have them here. Did you understand birds around us? Did you enjoy the video? Yes. Now let us learn in details about birds around us. There are different kinds of birds like sparrows, pigeon, peacock, crow and ducks. Different kind of birds live in different places. For an example, crow, parrots, owls live in the trees. Crow, parrot and owls live in the trees. Ostrich, imps and pigeons are heavy and cannot fly. Hence they live on land. Cranes, ducks, swans, flamingos, pelicans and seagulls live close to the water. They are called water animals. These birds are known as water animals. Sorry, water birds. All birds have two eyes to see and a beak to catch and eat food. Birds do not have external ears. Birds do not have external ears. However, they have two tiny spots covered with a thin skin which helps them to hear. Birds use their leg to preach on the trees and walk. Birds have a pair of wings to fly. They also have a tail which helps them to change the direction while flying. Birds have boat shaped bodies which help them to move forward while flying. Feathers covers a bird's body and keep it warm. It covers the bird's body and keep it warm. There are three types of feathers on the bird's body. Body feather, down feather, flight feather. Body feathers, down feathers and flight feathers. Cover the body and gives them the bird curved shape. Body feathers cover the body and gives the bird curved shape. Down feathers are the soft and fluffy and keep the bird's body warm. It keeps the bird body warm. Flight feathers are found on the tail and wings. They are found on the tail and wings. These feathers are flat and long and helps in flight. Feathers are flat and long and helps in flight. <clears throat> flight
फ्लाइट्स ऑफ अ बर्ड फ्लाइट मजल कैन कनेक्ट द विंग्स ऑफ द बर्ड टू इट्स बॉडी फ्लाइट मजल कनेक्ट द विंग्स ऑफ अ बर्ड टू इट्स बॉडी दिस मजल्स हेल्प द बर्ड टू फ्लैप इट्स विंग दिस मजल्स हेल्प द बर्ड टू फ्लैप इट्स विंग्स लाइक फ्लाइट फ्लेदर्स लाइक फ्लाइट फेदर्स फ्लाइट मजल्स ऑल्सो एनेबल्स द बर्ड टू सोर हाई एंड लैंड इजीली अ बर्ड एग्जिबिट टू काइंड ऑफ मोमेंट वाइल फ्लाइंग अप स्ट्रोक डाउन स्ट्रोक अप स्ट्रोक डाउन स्ट्रोक इन दिस मोमेंट द बर्ड फ्लैप इट्स विंग्स विथ एन अप एंड डाउन विथ एन अप एंड डाउन मोशन pushing the air downwards this stroke helps the bird fly this stroke helps the bird fly down stroke in this moment the bird stretches its wing push them downwards and forward and glides down they push them downwards and forward and glides down beaks different bird have different type of beaks sparrows pigeons robins peacock and finches have a short hard and strong beaks to crush grain and seed to crush grain and seeds owl eagles vultures and kites have strong sharp and hooked beaks Owls, eagles, vultures, and kites have sharp and hooked beaks to catch and kill the prey. Parrot and parakeets have a strong and curved beak to crack fruits, nuts, and grains. Parrots and parakeets have strong curved beaks to crack fruits, nuts, and grains. Woodpeckers have strong chisel shaped beaks to tap the bark of the tree and pull the insect out hummingbirds and sunbird have a long beak to suck nectar from the flowers hummingbirds and sunbird have long beaks to suck the nectar they have long beak ducks and geese have broad and flat beaks to eat the insect worm worms and water plants worms and water plants feet and claws birds use their feet and claws to hold and eat the food they they use feet and claws to eat the food perching bird like sparrow crows and mynas have a long slender claws to hold on the branch of trees birds like hens and peacock have hard claws to scratch the ground for the insect and worm swimming birds like ducks swan and geese have webbed feet to push water back while swimming flesh eating birds like hawks and eagles have strong and sharp claws and talons to catch and hold the prey wading birds like cranes and herons have long legs to walk in the mud and shallow the water birds are very important it is very necessary for us to care for them isn't it yes caring for birds here are some ways to take care of birds never hurt birds we have to never hurt the birds never throw chewed gums without wrappers if a bird eat a chewed gum the gum will stick to its beak which may lead to the death so we have to not throw chewed gums give them clean water and food we have to give them clean water and food take an injured bird to the veterinary surgeon we have to take to the veterinary surgeon do not push the bird in cage we have to not push it in the cage we have to carry it gently 
Do not touch the bird nest or its eggs. We have to not touch bird's nest or its eggs. To learn more about caring for birds, we shall go through the video. Have you ever seen baby birds? How do you think birds look after their young? Let's find out. Well, after building their nests, birds lay eggs in them. The mother bird sits on the eggs to keep them warm. Some days later, the eggs hatch. And tiny baby birds come out. When the babies hatch from the eggs, they are weak and featherless. Their eyes are closed. Just as your mother and father take care of you, parent birds feed and keep warm the little baby birds. The father bird protects the babies from birds and animals who might eat them. The parent birds look after the babies till their feathers grow. Parent birds teach baby birds how to fly and look for food. Once the baby birds can fly and feed on their own, they leave the nest. After their babies leave, most parent birds also leave the nests. Birds build new nests when they have to lay eggs again. It is necessary to protect birds living around us. One way to protect birds is to grow plants. Because most birds depend on plants for shelter and for food. Did you know that a person who studies bird is called an ornithologist? Dr. Salim Ali was a well-known ornithologist in India. He worked a lot for wildlife conservation and wrote many beautiful books on birds. Dr. Ali was awarded the Padma Vibhushan. I hope you understood insects and birds. Thank you and have a nice day.